Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the first half of your January from the 1st to the 15th. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. Okay, and then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Sagittarius in love. Tell me about Sagittarius in love. Overall energies for Sagittarius regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the first half of their January from the 1st to the 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. Six of Swords and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, you could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart too. We have the Six of Pentacles here and the Emperor. Aries energy. So um, Sagittarius, you could be in this like very, 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 very balanced place right now. I mean, you could have moved on from something that did not work out. There, there could have been lack of equal give and take here, okay? Um, Nine of Cups here and the Page of Wands. Whatever is going on here, Sagittarius, I feel like you have been more happy than you were before. When you were maybe in a situation that was just not really going anywhere. I mean, you could have been dealing with someone here that was, you know, very immature. You know, someone here was non-committal. Okay, someone here was that, that was very selfish. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, you, you're taking care of you. You know, you're being selfish in a healthy way here, you know? Yeah, look at all the sixes here. It seems like you're trying to move on from the past. Perhaps the past hasn't really moved on from you. And perhaps there's a situation where, you know, every time the past thinks of you, I feel like this person gets really, really, really happy, okay? The sun, Leo energy. Okay, so we have the chariot and judgment, Sagittarius energy. So I, you know, you know, you could be coming to like an awakening and coming to a realization that, you know, right now you're good on your own here. You know, you don't need anyone to be happy. Uh, you don't need to be with anyone in order for you to be happy. But, you know, with the Judgment card, maybe there's some sort of reconciliation here. Yeah, okay. You know, I feel like someone here is still really, really, really passionate about you. Okay? And, you know, I just feel like, you know, perhaps, you know, someone here did really mess up. And I feel like, you know, this is hitting them like a ton of bricks right now. Okay? So Judgment, Sagittarius Energy and the Ace of Wands here and the Tower. You know, this could be an indication that you're letting the Tower fall. Yeah, you're just starting all over again, okay? And I feel like you're excited to start all, uh, start all over again here, Sagittarius. I mean, with that Ace of Wands, this could be an indication that your wish fulfillment right now is to start something on your own, to start a business or something like that, okay? So uh, tell me about Sag. The person that Sagittarius is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Sagittarius for the first half of their January from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles here and the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. We have the Queen of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the Knight of Wands here and the Two of Wands. Um, whoever this is, I feel like this person does not know what they want. I mean, I just feel like they're really excited to, uh, or, or that they're really excited or there is some sort of excitement about wanting to come back towards you, but I feel like they're not sure if they want to. You know, with two wands here, I mean, this could be indication that someone here has options here, okay? Uh, we did have, we, did, we do have an emperor here and then we do have a king of pentacles. 
you know, it could be indication that someone here could be dealing with an ex and then a new person. Maybe that new person is you or you, you are the ex or this person went on towards a new person here. Okay, so the two of pentacles and the magician, Gemini, Virgo, it just seems like this person doesn't know what they want here. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the uh, Two of Wands. <clears throat> I feel like this person doesn't know which way they want to go. It's like, it, it could also f be an indication they don't know what they want. It's like, you know, you know, they want to be solid here with you. You know, they're looking for commitment, but then they're like running off to do other things and, you know, to do other people. Tell me about the two of pentacles here. Okay, we have the page of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, and the magician and the six of wands. All the sixes are out. This is all about balance here, okay? Whoever this is, this person's spying on you very, 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 very heavily. I mean, I feel like this person's watching you, and I feel like this person's getting aroused by watching you, okay? I mean, they could be waiting for you to reach out to them or that they're awaiting you to uh, awaiting for you to reach out to them or that they're waiting for the right time to reach out to you. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, I'm so sorry. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces, the Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, we got the Kings and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, that's a true pair. Whoever this is that you're dealing with here, it seems like this person has a lot of secrets. I also feel like this person's really focused on their work here too. Um, why is this Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here? Seems like this person shows you two sides of them. Seems like they're really inconsistent here. The world and the Knight of Wands here and the Two of Swords. And yeah, it just seems like this person doesn't know really doesn't really know what they want. Even though they're like waiting for you to reach out to them, you know, I just feel like this person's not really gonna give you what you're looking for here. Seems like this person's just really confused. You know, with the world card, this could be an indication that this person has unfinished business here with you or that they're just not really happy. Yeah, outcome and advice here for Sagittarius regarding their love situation. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Look out for, work on here for the first half of their January from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sag. All right, we have the Four of Wands here and the Three of Cups. We have the Five of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles. And then the two, we have the Two of Wands again. We have the Two of Wands two times. Um, so I, I think it was a misprint. Uh, this deck has two Two of Wands, so I just kept it in there. But this could be an indication that this person has a lot of options here too, okay? Four of Wands and the th Three of Cups. I mean, Sag, you could be focusing on your home life here. You could fo be focusing on your stability, okay? You could be focusing on, you know, just enjoying life here. Um, but, you know, this could also be indication that, yeah, some here is definitely looking for a reconciliation here, okay? We have the Five of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles. Whoever this is, I just feel like someone here is in some sort of deep regret. Seems like this person does not know what they want. It's like they want you, but then it's kind of like, oh, I'm not really sure. The star card here, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the four of wands here. This is someone that you have a very strong soul tie here with Sagittarius. All right, we have the three of swords, okay. Three of cups, hermit, Virgo energy. You know, I just feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that drops bombs and th then kind of like runs away. You know, kind of throws a hand grenade and runs off and says, I didn't do anything. You know, so the Hermit Virgo energy. Tell me what the Five of Cups. So why is the Five of Cups here? We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about this uh, Nine of Pentacles, King to Queen of Swords here. Yeah. So what's happening here is here is that I feel like you're this masculine here, and I feel like you're walking away from this. You're done with this uh, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Two of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands here. The uh, Star. And the High Priestess. So I feel like this person deep down knows you're the one. But for some reason, I just feel like this person is also confused at the same time. Hold on. 
Oh, we have the four swords. I'm sorry. I thought this the four of wands came out up on the bottom of the deck. I thought I thought this was the four four of wands, but it's actually the four of swords here. So what's happening is like with the four of swords and the three of cups, you know, when it comes to reconciliation, I feel like you're disengaging from that. But I feel like this person wants reconciliation here with you, this feminine energy. Okay, so Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.